Meghan Markle's latest attempt to establish herself as a lifestyle brand mogul is facing a major setback. Her brand, American Riviera Orchard, which many speculated would be her ticket to emulating other celebrity entrepreneurs like Gwyneth Paltrow and Martha Stewart, has hit a roadblock that might be too big to overcome. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office has rejected Megan's trademark application, stating that the name is too geographically descriptive due to its reference to Montecito, California, where Megan resides, a region often called the American Riviera. This legal blow, which her attorney Marjorie Witter Norman is now scrambling to rectify, cast doubt on the viability of Megan's latest venture. Trademark experts have highlighted the challenge of securing brand recognition when using geographically descriptive terms. The rejection underscores a broader issue. Megan's struggle to solidify her brand identity beyond her high-profile status as the Duchess of Sussex. In stark contrast, Brooklyn Beckham's entrepreneurial journey reveals a different narrative of celebrity business endeavors. Despite frequent public scrutiny and criticism, Brooklyn has quietly been building his brand in a hands-on manner. Recently, he launched his food product line at Whole Foods, marking a significant milestone that he achieved through personal investment, navigating distribution challenges, and maintaining a low profile. Brooklyn's approach stands in sharp contrast to Megan's branding efforts. He has largely avoided the limelight, focusing instead on the nuts and bolts of running a business, often taking on unglamorous tasks behind the scenes. Meanwhile, Megan's ventures have often been marked by high profile appearances gifting influencers, and social media buzz, strategies that many argue are more about maintaining her public image than demonstrating genuine business acumen. The juxtaposition of their efforts sends a clear message. Celebrity status does not guarantee business success. Brooklyn's relatively humble, grounded approach has resonated with audiences, while Megan's attempt to leverage her star power and title as a brand cornerstone is faltering. Her struggles with the trademark rejection highlight the perils of relying on fame without the foundational elements of a solid business plan. Moreover, Megan's initial foray into product launches has been riddled with controversy. Her first product, a limited edition jam, sparked backlash when fans accused her of repackaging commercially available jam from a farmer's market and labeling it as her own. Critics pointed out inconsistencies in the jam's quality suggesting it was not made by Megan herself, and noted that the labels were poorly affixed, raising doubts about the authenticity of her involvement. Public reaction has been overwhelmingly negative, with a survey showing that only 1% of respondents would consider buying her product. Social media has been unforgiving, with many labeling Megan as a grifter and criticizing her perceived lack of originality and authenticity in her business ventures. This reception starkly contrasts with Brooklyn's steady, if unremarkable, progress, illustrating the value of authenticity and direct involvement in building consumer trust. Megan's setbacks also mirror her broader public image issues. She has often been criticized for appearing out of touch, with high-profile examples such as her visits to impoverished communities while wearing expensive clothing and jewelry, which many see as emblematic of her disconnect from ordinary struggles. These public missteps have overshadowed her brand efforts, further complicating her attempts to redefine herself outside of her royal title. As Meghan's legal team works to amend the trademark application, the broader implications for her brand remain uncertain. This latest hurdle underscores a key lesson for celebrities seeking to transition into business. Fame alone is not enough. Success in this realm requires more than a recognizable name. It demands authenticity, hands-on involvement, and a clear, distinct identity that resonates with consumers. Megan's experience serves as a cautionary tale for public figures aiming to convert their celebrity into commercial success, proving that without a solid strategy and genuine dedication, even the most famous names can falter.